Karate wa kunshi no buge, meaning karate is the martial arts of intelligent people. Aha. Hello everyone, I'm Tim. Today I have a question for you. Who amongst you thinks Wikipedia is a poor source of information in general or about karate? I have a feeling many of you think it is, but is it really? Well, let's find out. I'll go and pull up the entry for everybody's go-to karate master, the father of modern karate, the guy in the title of this video and the thumbnail, Mr. Funakoshi Gichin. I urge you guys to follow along and afterwards put a comment down below telling me what Wikipedia got wrong, what it got right, what needs to be added or just generally what you would like to tell me. Here we go. So first off, the typical Wikipedia screen with to the right a photo of Funakoshi with a summary of his life and as an intro the following text. Gichin Funakoshi, November 10, 1868 to April 26, 1957, was the founder of Shotokan Karate Do, perhaps the most widely known style of karate and is known as the father of modern karate. Following the teachings of Anko Itosu and Anko Asato, he was one of the Okinawan karate masters who introduced karate to the Japanese mainland in 1922 following, his, oh, following its earlier introduction by his teacher Itosu. He taught karate at various Japanese universities and became honorary head of the Japan Karate Association upon its establishment in 1949. Well, okay. Now it moves on to his early life. Gichin Funakoshi was born on November 10, 1868, the year of the Meiji Restoration in Shuri, Okinawa, to a Rukyun Pechin. Funakoshi was born prematurely and his father's name was Gisu. After entering primary school, he became close friends with the son of Anko Asato, a karate and Jigen Ryu master who would soon become his first karate teacher. Funakoshi's family was stiffly opposed to the Meiji government's abolition of the Japanese top knot and this meant that he would be ineligible to pursue his goal of attending medical school where top knots were banned despite having passed the entrance examination. Being trained in both classical Chinese and Japanese philosophies and teachings Funakoshi became an assistant teacher in Okinawa. During this time, his relations with the Asato family grew and he began nightly travels to the Asato family residence to receive karate instructions from Anko Asato. After this, there is a longer section about Shotokan karate. Funakoshi had trained in both of the popular styles of Okinawan karate at the time, Shorai Ryu and Shorin Ryu. Shotokan is named after Funakoshi's pen name, Shoto, which means waving pines. Mm -hmm, okay. Kan means training hall or house, thus Shoto Kan referred to the house of Shoto. This name was coined by Funakoshi's students when they posted a sign above the entrance of the hall at which Funakoshi taught. In addition to being a karate master, Funakoshi was an avid poet and a philosopher who would reportedly go for long walks in the forest where he would meditate and write his poetry. By the late 1910s, Funakoshi had many students of which a few were deemed capable of passing on their master's teachings. Continuing his efforts to garner widespread interest in Okinawan karate, Funakoshi ventured to mainland Japan in 1917 and again in 1922. In 1922, Funakoshi, aged 53, and Makato Gima, aged 26, were invited to the Kodokan by judo master Jigoro Kano to perform a karate demonstration. It was this demonstration that inevitably made karate popular in the mainland. In 1930, Funakoshi established an association named Dai Nihon Karate Do Kenkyukai to promote communication and information exchange among people who study Karate Do. In 1936, the Dai Nippon Karate Do Kenkyukai changed its name to Dai Nippon Karate Do Shotokai. The association is known today as Shotokai and is the official keeper of Funakoshi's karate heritage. I have a feeling there is a spelling error somewhere here. In 1936, Funakoshi built the first Shotokan Dojo or training hall in Tokyo, while on the Japanese mainland he changed the 
written characters of carotid to mean empty hand instead of China hand. Yeah. Literally Tang Dynasty to downplay its connection to Chinese boxing. Karate had borrowed many aspects from Chinese boxing. Uh, Funakoshi also argued in his autobiography that a philosophical evaluation of the use of empty seemed to fit as it implied a way which was not uh, tethered to any other physical object. Yeah, okay. Funakoshi's reinterpretation of the character Kara in Karate to mean empty rather than Chinese caused some tension with traditionalists back in Okinawa, prompting Funakoshi to remain in Tokyo indefinitely. Citation needed. Yeah. In 1949, Funakoshi's students created the Japan Karate Association, with Funakoshi as the honorary head of the organization. Um, however, in practice, this organization has led, was led by Masatoshi Nakayama. The JKA began formalizing Funakoshi's teaching. Now, not much is said about the end of his life, except this. Funakoshi developed osteoarthritis in 1948 and died on April 26, 1957. Now, about his legacy. Funakoshi published several books on karate, including his autobiography, uh, Karate Do My Way of Life. His legacy, however, rests in a document containing his philosophies of karate training now referred to as Niju Kun, or 20 Principles. These rules are the premise of training for all Shotokan practitioners and are published in a work titled The 20 Guiding Principles of Karate. Within this book, Funakoshi lays out 20 rules by which students of karate are urged to abide in an effort to become better human beings. Funakoshi's Karate Do Kyohan, the master text, remains his most detailed publication, containing sections on history, basics, kara and kumite. The famous Shotokan Tiger by Hoan adorns the hardback cover. Memorial. <clears throat> A memorial to Gichin Funakoshi was erected by the Shotokai at Engakuji, a temple in Kamakura on December 1st, 1968. Designed by Kenji Ogata, the monument features calligraphy by Funakoshi and Sogen Asaina, born in 1891 and died in 1979, chief priest of the temple, which reads Karate ni sente nashi, or there is no first attack in karate, the second of Funakoshi's 20 precepts. To the right of Funakoshi's precept is a copy of the poem he wrote on his way to Japan in 1922. The poem itself is not in this text. A second stone features an inscription by Nobuhide Oama and reads the following. Funakoshi Gichin Sensei of Karate Do was born on November 10, 1868 in Shuri, Okinawa. From about 11 years old, he began to study Tote Jutsu under Asato Anko and Itosu Anko. Note, Asato is written with a Z here and was with an S before. He practiced diligently and in 1912 he became the president of the Okinawan Shobukai. In May 1922 he relocated to Tokyo and became a professional teacher of Karate Do. He devoted his entire life to the development of Karate Do and he lived out his 88 years of life and left his world on April 26, 1957. Reinterpreting Tote Jutsu, uh, the sensei promulgated Karate Do while not losing its original philosophy. Like Buge, classical martial arts, so too is the pinnacle of Karate, Mu, enlightenment, to purify and make one empty through the transformation from Jutsu to Do. Through his famous words, Karate ni sente nashi, meaning there is no first attack in karate, and Karate wa kunshi no buge, meaning karate is the martial arts of intelligent people. Haha. <laughs> Sensei helped us to better understand the term jutsu. In an effort to commemorate his virtue and great contributions to modern karate, though, as a pioneer, we, his loyal students, organized the Shotokai and erected this monument at the Enkakuji Kenzen Ichi or the fist and Zen are one. It ends with a list of publications, but I'll leave this list in the description down below. If I can find a link where you can buy these books, 
I'll be sure to leave them there as well. Of course, I've made some videos about Funakoshi too. Click here for, to watch one of them right now. Let me wish you a wonderful day and as always, thanks for watching. Chuck Norris doesn't read books. He stares them down until he gets the information he wants.